Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing my Husqvarna 122 HD60. It, this is uh, about four years old. This is our first ever uh, piece of machinery. Um, and until recently it was actually our only ever piece of machinery. Um, as I say, it is four years old and it, it is starting to show its age. Uh, we did manage to run over it with a car, which didn't do it any good, but it still still works remarkably <laughs> after that. First I thought we'd just have a quick look around the machine, and then we'll go through the well, my pros and cons of it, and then uh, give you my final thoughts on the, on the Husqvarna 122 HD60. So first off, we've got standard trigger assembly. Um, swivel handle, off switch, this is supposed to have a little bit of a stick up there but that broke off, simple fuel cap, uh, pull start, and your priming bowl and your choke there, spark plug, front handles and your blade along here. Um, it's a 21cc engine with uh, a 60, 61 centimeter blade. Um, the vibration levels on this one are 4.1 to 3.6 meters squared, I think is the... Uh, how it's referred to, um, but for any more information on on the details of this, check out uh, Husqvarna's website, and they've got all of the information on it. To so say it is four years old, but I believe there's this is almost identical to the one that they're selling these days. So um, it comes in at about 180 pounds to 200 pounds. Um, and it is classed as a domestic hedge cutter um, and that's something to bear in mind um, we bought it because it was uh, well we had a Husqvarna dealer in our where we lived and uh, it was relatively cheap um, the steel HS45 is a little bit more expensive but it does have a few more features maybe that are a bit more suited to the professional um, Right, let's start with the pros for this machine, and there are quite a few um, for a cheap machine. It comes in at 4.9 kilos, which is really quite light for a machine, uh, for a hedge cutter. Um, we've got a mount field which comes in at 5.5 kilos, and I'll do a review of that uh, fairly soon. Um, and a lot of the other ones at 5 kilos, 5.5, that sort of thing. And, some of the big steel ones are even 6 kilos, so it comes in quite nice and light. You've got this swivel handle, which, again, for a domestic one, is nice to have. A lot of the you know, professional ones do have this, um, and I do, it does make it easier when you're going along a hedge to be able to twist this to the side. gets your hand out of the way of it, uh, so that really, really like that feature. Equally, I do like this off switch. It's nice and easy to get to when you're hedge cutting, and it's you know it's obvious. Um, and there's some of the steel ones that can be a bit sort of uh, not tricky, but they I think I prefer this system. Again, nice simple fuel cap as well. Again, some of the steel ones can be a bit fiddly with a fold up, then twist, and then you try and pop, put it back in, and it's got to be in the right order and stuff. Why make it why make it difficult? Um, equally. The pull start and the starting procedure on this one is really nice. Pull starts pulls really easily. I mean, as I say, this is five years old, four years old, and it's been run over, and it still pulls really nicely. Haven't had a problem with that at all. Um, and equally, this this choke. Really like this one. Uh, I'm a professional gardener, and I, <laughs> I should know what choke in and choke out and all of this stuff. But when it when a machine doesn't want to start. After a while, you get confused whether you put the choke in or your choke out. Um, whereas this one, 
you can clearly see if you, the choke's on, it's it's in an unusual position. So you know you immediately know right that needs to come in, and then it's in a correct position, and it's it's just obvious. It just makes things a little bit easier. Uh, I come to the front here. We've got a nice big handle, really nice and easy, nice to hold. Um, and again, the blade, which is very nice as well, good gives a good finish. Um, moving on to the uh, negatives for this machine, um, I would have to say the vibrations. It doesn't have a vibration dampening system. Um, as such, it's got you know lots of rubber seals and things like that to keep the vibrations down, but you do notice the vibrations sometimes you don't but sometimes depending on what you're doing you really feel it and you can come out of your hands feeling really tingly so that's something to to watch out for with this one if, if you're using it for extended periods of time but as i say it is a domestic one so you know you can't expect too much from it um equally um the blade is only a single blade and then sort of an anvil i suppose it is um, which, you know, it gives a very good finish, but uh, if you are doing topiary, I found with uh, cutting you, I mean, this is like, you know, it's a four year old blade, so it has seen a bit of punishment, and it was the first one we got, so, you know, we didn't look after it to start with, and we have recently sharpened these, but I found with you, it can sort of strip the leaves off the stem that you're trying to cut and then leave a little bare stem which obviously then dies back and it doesn't look good so that's something to w worth noting but if you, I think if you look after it you know it will do a good job but again if you are a professional gardener wanting a superb finish you probably want a double bladed one um, that's going to give a, a nicer finish to the overall uh, thing and a couple more negatives um, this handle, that's nice and big, and you can see that, it sticks out beyond the blade, so the blade's there, and then this bit comes here. Um, it's, it's designed so that it protects the gearbox, um, which is there, um, but what I found is these bits here, if you're hedge cutting, they catch on the hedge before the blade does. So you have to watch out, otherwise you go over a bit and you think you've done it and these bits have pulled out bits of the hedge. Um, so you have to come back over it. But again, it's easy enough to get used to, but um, it's just it's, like, it's the small details. Um, and equally, it is a, a relatively old machine and the reliability has started to struggle. We bought uh, a mount field because this one was really struggling and we just thought we we need we need a hedge cutter, we can't live without a hedge cutter. Um, the carburetor, we've taken it in a couple of times, the carburetor tends to leak down here, um, and we've not never really been able to find the exact place it's leaking out of, but I have taken the carburetor off and cleaned it, I've taken the fuel fuel pipes, fuel filter off and clean those and it seems to have worked, it's touch wood it's working and still starts really well um, but as I say it had had some problems over the summer um, with, with starting and just running, I think it didn't like the heat um, over the summer, well when it was hot, um, so that's that's just something to work, watch out for but it is it is a relatively old machine and we did run over it so um that that did didn't seem to cause any damage but after a while sort of things start appearing and if you if I've seen other reviews of this and um comments online and it is a fairly common area that of problems on two strokes with the the carburetor causing uh, leaking and uh, causing problems but in conclusion uh, I really like this hedge cutter. Um, it was our first machine, so it's got a sort of soft spot for me. Um, but it it works really well. It's been punished, it's been abused, but it still works. It gives a good finish. Um, 
and it's nice and light. If you are looking for a sort of a, a good everyday domestic hedge cut for cutting your your hedges or anything like that, definitely go for this. Um, certainly beats the Mountfield um, for me. Um, but if you are looking for a professional choice for a hedge cutter, I think I would probably uh, advise you to go for the Steel HS45 or we're looking to get the HS46 um, when funds are available to get that. Um, but all in all, it's a very good hedge cutter um, and well worth the £200 uh, that we paid for it. Um, so there you go, the Husqvarna 122HD60. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to follow it up. Alright, thanks again. Bye for now.